reason state health leaders are making this huge push for vaccinations is because of how quickly the Delta variant is spreading and how much more contagious and serious it could be. People who haven't had the shot have the biggest risk of getting it, spreading it, and dying from it. There are 71 cases of the Delta variant in our state, low compared to the rest of the country for now. In West Michigan, we have seven cases reported in St. Joseph County, two in Berrien County. There's also one case each in Ottawa, Kalamazoo, Barrie, and Cass counties. This has parents worried, especially those of you with children younger than 12, not eligible for the vaccine. We talked to an infectious disease doctor with Mercy Health about how big of a concern this should be and what he suggests. Dana White is live this morning outside the hospital with what he had to say. Good morning, Dana. Teresa, Dr. Andrew Jameson says his biggest recommendation is for kids to mask up despite their vaccination status. He says as they learn more about the Delta variant, it's better to be safe than sorry. Jameson says one of his biggest misconceptions is that many people think if they got COVID before that they're less likely to get infected with a variant, and that's simply untrue. Even though he says West Michigan isn't in too bad of shape right now, we would be in even better if more people got the vaccine to begin with. If everyone had gotten vaccinated that could have, we wouldn't be talking about this at all. It wouldn't be here because there wouldn't be anybody getting hospitalized or anybody getting sick because the vaccine protects against that. So unfortunately, we're talking about this because we have such a big proportion of the population that doesn't believe in vaccination. And it's hard because people are dying that don't need to be. Jameson says that while Michigan is in better shape than most of the country right now, that doesn't mean people shouldn't remain vigilant. Live in Grand Rapids this morning, Dana White, News 8.